this is going to be difficult, man. Okay? For me to say. And it's probably going to be difficult for somebody to, to hear. A few people. Mostly my family. So. <clears throat> I can't take this pain anymore. I can't stay up in this game anymore. Like new addition. Can you stand the rain when it pours? I'm covered in sores head to toe, but it's internal. I can't take this pain anymore. I can't stay in the game anymore. Like new addition. Can you stand the rain when it pours? I'm covered in sores head to toe, but it's internal. Fuck this world as it burns and turns glow and purple. I can't take this pain anymore. I can't stay up in the game anymore. Like new addition. Can you stand the rain when it pours? I'm covered in sores head to toe, but it's internal. Fuck this world as it turns and burns glow and purple. Okay, listen now. The pain hurts, don't it? Yes, it does. Also very hard for me to show it, just because. I never was the lovey-dovey, give you a hug type. Somehow I turned into Tupac and Big Psych and showed my thug life. Do what you like, Humpty Hump said it in sex packets. If I could rewind time, I'd catch passes from one of the best passers. I'd make the cut at the Masters. Play tennis with John McEnroe. Break rackets, assist Michael Jordan in magic and make baskets. But my true passion was playing catcher in the majors. Not for the Yankees or the Angels, for the Braves, player. Tell me how to sound. Chad Smith behind the plate. John Smoltz on the mound. Chipper Jones on third. Ron Ganton center field covering ground. I still sit around and wonder how. How in the fuck did I strike out? Couldn't get on the first base for nothing. Look at my life now. I make contact, but it's a pop-up or a foul. Always had my head in the cloud. The same goddamn reason why my daddy isn't proud. It's not that he wasn't around. It's because I wasn't. Running away, chasing the street life, high buzzing. I'd lie to my mom and run and hide to my cousins. I'd lie to my mom and run and hide to my cousins. Speaking of cousins, Eric, Kurt, and Dave, I don't know if you want to hear what I have to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. It hurts me today when I reminisce, think about all the times that I miss. Halloweens, Thanksgivings, and all the Christmases. But most of all, why in the fuck am I like this? I can't forget about my mom's side of the family. I never did when I was writing this. But on my mom's side, they seem more pissed. I don't know what it is. It could be the fact that almost all of them are female relatives. So it is what it is. Mom, I'm not talking shit. Try to relax, stay calm. But one of the things that I hated the most was bag bomb. Before I went back outside to play, you would cake it thick on my leg and arm. So, why? But that shit wasn't going to keep me away from harm. Getting in trouble was my lucky charm. Go down to my school, throw rocks at the windows and set off the alarm. Run over to Joe Skaggs' farm, try to take cover in the barn. But little did I know his sister told and his mama hit kind of hard. All of this is from the heart right now. All of this is from the heart right now. All of this is from the heart. But you know what, my sister Nicole, she has the biggest heart right now that I've ever known. Three kids all grown, still at home. Your brother, fresh out of prison, living in the motor home. One of the, your sons roams the streets all day and barely eats. The other one has a job, but he barely speaks. Then there's my niece, your daughter. I love her to death. I think what bothers her the most is her father's death. But I'll give my last breath to protect his family, especially my little dude. Eric Michael Hackney, I love you. I'll give my last breath to protect his family, especially my little dude. Eric Michael Hackney, I love you. I'll give my last breath to protect his family. I'll give my last breath to protect his family. Rest in peace, Eric Hildebrand. You will be missed, okay? I'll give my last breath to protect his family.